Health Blog, Wikipedia Audio Health blogs are niche blogs that cover health topics, events, and slash or related content of the health industry and the general community. A health blog can cover diverse health-related concerns such as nutrition and diet, fitness, weight control, diseases, disease management, societal trends affecting health, analysis about health, business of health and health research. It acts as a health education platform, where diverse users collaborate to seek and slash or contribute health content within the standard guidelines. Although it is not a requirement, a health blog can be interactive, engaging, and collaborative with its users in the creation of content. A health blog can grow in user size and operate as an online community. Definition Health blogs can be broadly categorized as either a personal journal type or an information site type of blog. There are a wide range of health blog sub-niches that include both journalistic and informative styles. The most common sub-niches include All these categories can have subcategories dedicated to specific concerns within their niche. Some health blogs do not fall under any of these categories, others could be classified under more than one. Blogs that only occasionally mention health are not categorized as health blogs, although they may be labeled by the author slash owner as such. Health blog users can be broadly categorized into authors and readers. Started for different reasons. Health blogs characterize owner's interest and objectives. Usually, the owner is the author who updates its content. The author determines the tone, language, frequency of posting, style of writing and other factors that determine the overall feel and look of the blog. More common authors of health blogs include medical professionals, patients, and health enthusiasts. Readers broadly include all those who take time to read content posted on blogs, whether as a member or by chance. They include other professionals, patients, and interested individuals. Readers make the audience of the blog and its authors. They directly or indirectly contribute to the health blog through commenting, emailing, and such feedback techniques. Readers have been responsible of further disseminating health information by sharing it with their social circles. The healthcare industry consists of health providers in diverse fields that include medicine, dentistry, nursing, allied health, assistive personnel and varied health practitioners. There is probably a health blog accounting information on each of these fields. Health blogs have offered a platform to stakeholders to channel developments, research, and slash or opinion. With each individual in these groups differently receiving, analyzing and disseminating information, health promotion has been diversified and enhanced through personal blogs and websites. Health blogs have transformed how health information is provided, analyzed, presented, and used. Blogging has improved the communication process, how the general public receives understands and reacts to health information. Blogs offer targeted users the possibility of easily accessing information real-time and capturing readers' reactions through comments, emails, and such. They influence, criticize, advise, sell and promote health literacy and related health concerns types. It is likely that health blogs will have a considerable long-term influence on the industry as the number of health blogs continue to increase. Health blogs offer readers a platform to source answers, knowledge, opinion, support, and slash or guidance while managing their experience. They have brought together users of similar interest closer to finding whatever health information they seek. With a health blog being objective, 
specializing on a category of interest such as nutrition or weight control, it attracts readers of similar concerns, such as those who seek guidance, answers, and such, to participate in the fulfilling their individual objectives and those of the blog. Unlike health-focused magazines and television shows, health blogs are able to be updated more frequently, keeping up to date with the new and up-and-coming health-related concerns. The content they publish is also far more personable and easier to access. Health blogs provide first-hand information, as well as information based on real-life occurrences such as cancer or weight loss management, contributed by other users who have faced such predicaments. When this content is deemed trustworthy, it attracts and engages more readers in health matters. Depending on which niche a health blog specializes in, it serves as a health education platform, promoting health literacy to its users. Readers gain knowledge, insight, guidance, and recommendations from health blogs. As people can share content with other members of community, health blogs promote community health. People refer others to blogs they deem helpful in accord to the going concern. They are allowing ordinary people to partake in the larger health industry. Readers share their perspective, their experiences, or just their passive thoughts on what the blog publishes. Usually blogs are created by individuals voicing their experiences, opinion, and slash or other personal interests. Readers offer their reaction to information posted on health blogs, directly or indirectly influencing the future of the health industry. Blogs are created for several objectives, often stipulated by its authors who usually double up as its owners. An author could be an individual or an organization and is expected to regularly update the blog. Content published on the blog can be to influence, criticize, inform, persuade, or any other intent of communication. Unlike mainstream magazines and newspapers, which are constricted to what they write, blogs easily facilitate writing about anything that interests their authors, allowing for a more broad spectrum of focused health concerns. Health blogs allow authors to publish content that is of general information contribution. Authors add their research, opinion, and such to the larger wealth of health information. Users Impact on the health industry It could be based on real-life experiences, where the author wants a platform to communicate with others of similar concerns. They give authors especially of personal health blogs, a platform to voice personal experiences, share, and help others with a chronology of health experiences. From the reader's standpoint. From the author's standpoint. Other health blogs such as those associated with organizations or governments, pass information to the world about products and services, policies, discoveries, and such. The blog acts as a contact point with the general public, communicating the intentions, such as marketing drugs, and slash or opinion of the author. Authors have benefited from the viral spreading of content published within their target users. Health blogs have made it easier for contributory stakeholders to expend intent and slash or necessary information to their target audience. Health blogs have enabled healthcare stakeholders to create wealth. An author, individual or under organization, can operate a health blog as an online business. An author, depending on granted administrative roles, can advertise and slash or promote products and services for financial gains. Adverts, whether related to content published or not, can be a source of income for the author slash administrator. Where the health blog is owned or operated by a business organization, 
it acts as the front-end user interface directing users to main or back-end sales pages. Health businesses have been known to start blogs to enhance their product and slash or service promotion. An individual author can also do so, promoting self-created products and services or those of affiliates. Some health blogs can be classified as shopping blogs since they directly sell health content, products, and services.